now 10 o'clock. Agenda item one, apologies to receive apologies for absence. Yeah, we have um, Adam and Martin Paul. Do you want to do them on board? Or yeah, separately? Adam, what have I done? Did She's getting her apologies, yeah. Adam, Adam Michael, and... Oh, Adam, yeah. And Michael and Paul. Right, thanks. But we're trying to call it. So do you want to split them and do them together? Or? Oh, do it. Do it again. Do them together, then, yes. All in favour? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Michael was in there. a matter of Declarations of interest, one, any disclosable pecuniary interest you may have in respect of any item. Okay. Two, any other interest? And can I just say, I know Mr. Andy Wayne, he's done work at my property, but he's not a personal friend, but I say as a matter of probity to make, make it uh, clear. Uh, number three, election of a vice chairman. Um, I have one expression of interest. Do I have any more? Who's that? Me. To yourself, right? I hate myself. Right, well, we've got. Um, Sending me out to take right? pictures and things. Oh, was Joyce had this morning? I have uh, 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 great interest in planning. I have been chairman of planning and I propose myself, if you like. I don't know what else to say. Can I suggest we defer as there's any small number of the committee here to the next meeting? Right, that's another option, so that's on the table then. I would second that as well. So in favour of deferment. Two. Against? One. Extension? I understand. Right, it's deferred then. Okay. Because we don't really have to have a vice chair. Because if we That's don't it. have a chair, we can elect at the time. Actually, that was the way to become a mayor. Vice chair, chair. But that's not the, it's not the set in law. That's just the no, way this council's no, chosen. Sorry, Martin, but it takes experience to be a mayor. And that's why you do it that way. But this has got nothing to do well, with being a mayor. This is planning committee. Number four minutes. You're not listening. Now, we've got a problem with the minutes again. I'll have to note them because I'm the only one who was here again. <laughs> ah. So, noted. I think, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to Five deputations by the public. We have no public. Six planning applications. So, we straighten the back. <coughs> Number one, two or one, seven, oh, eight, six, seven, four, Mrs. Clark. As we um, noted before the meeting, this has actually been approved, so whether you want to consider it or just um, let it run. Waste of time. Yes, it is really. As I say, it's been approved. It looks pretty straightforward. Okay, number two, oh, eight, seven, six, four, Mr. Wayne. Single story extension to Rio of Ganovich, etc. etc. Um, can you <coughs> yeah, the floor plan is a good one, yes. I don't really want to say too much in view of my comment before, but except to say it's um, not really intrusive. And a lot has happened on that road anyway. So, members. I've visited, as you well know, I visited. The old pollen, isn't it? It's Brian Nichols. Yeah. Reverend Nichols. Yeah. It's not listed. Mm -hmm. 
reading the blurb, it's just going back to what it was before it was the current shop, which probably is better. Do you have a picture of what was proposed with our left the new shop front? So it's, it's bringing it forward rather than the, um, the, the, the bay, isn't it? So they're making more use of the floor space and bringing it all in line. So That's all right, it's on the tower display. It makes it look like all one building, like it's yeah. supposed to be a thing. Okay. Yeah, so it's not bad, is it? Is it a second? Yeah. We, sorry, Chairman, are we just sending, like, yeah. somebody said in training comment that we don't have any objections to ones that we just say yes to? Yes. Yeah. Because they said even if we don't have comments, like to know we don't have any. Right, number four, 08900 CAT, remove 30 meter section of Beijing. Joyce, you can press stick on this one. Yeah, uh, I actually have no problem. I've been a game on this today and I've had a look. Uh, um, long discussion with Robert Clayton, head of highway. And our head of museums and libraries, uh, they uh, fell one storm damaged ash tree. Actually, one of the branches has come off and hit the temporary fencing. And personally, I have no problem with either removing 30 meters of outgrown hedging or telling this what's left of this tree, which isn't very much. I, I just want to. I, I didn't see why they were removing the hedging. Sorry, say what, again. Why are they removing the hedging? It's 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 too near to the curtain walls and things. In fact, well, I won't say what you was going to say. Uh, a lot of the trees are too near the curtain walls as well. We've got to we've got to protect. The tree is on their side because we own it up to the reach of the, the height of the battlements of the heavy bicycle mm -hmm. curtain wall. But I've discussed this at length as well. Museum and libraries gentlemen, and I came to the conclusion that it needs to be sorted. But that's the car park, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the car park. Yeah, so it's, it's that corner where they've not finished and got all the boards up on the people's property. It needs sorting, but I I don't like the idea of getting rid of the hedges because everybody's moaning that it's just dirt and weeds all around on the other parts and the, the hedges are good for the birds and wildlife and I, I wouldn't want to see any more hedges going there. In fact, somebody said at our last meeting that we have taken away too many hedges. Uh, hedges are all right in the right place. I'm sorry, this is too many to the walls. But the walls, sorry, the walls haven't been cleared there, that's the problem, it's, it's, they stopped working and all there is is a wooden board up, boardings and nothing, and I, I, I think there's probably a lot of wildlife in there, and, and the fact that they just clear it will make it look worse for the people who reside at those flats and, and the hotel. I just think it's it, the whole area has been ruined with all the tree felling and the shrubs. Yeah, it's not going to be I'm I'm happy with the tree and I understand fully mm. the damage that's occurred before now, but I just don't understand the loss of the hedge personally. It just looks so barren around there and weedy where they've cleared hedges because. But I, I, my, my take is if it was part of the reinstatement of the work, work why wasn't it done? So I just presume it's an enhancement. That's why I referred to our 
resident expert on these matters to us. Yeah, but you know, she's effective. a lesson to the resident expert, so get on. Well, how about the tree? The tree, I'm happy if it's damaged. I always said that if a tree is damaged, it's unfortunate and then it has to go. But I I don't like the fact that we we supported chopping down hundreds of trees around there. And it's just I think it's just making it look worse to take out the hedge. I mean, could it but that's just my some, opinion. Is it, could it be there's some replacement for the some wood, some just I'm all in favour of protecting the curtain wall. Sorry. But I've, I've the curtain wall went up long before all this shrubbery, as you call it, and the trees. Some of the trees are self seeded, and most of the shrubbery is self seeded. That has grown since the, the era of whatever. Acted all up to put sheep on it, if you know your history of the curtain wall. I'm sorry, but I'm protecting the curtain wall. But I, I don't, I don't think it's protecting it at all because it's if you look from the cafes and things in that area where you can see it, the wall is just a pile of rubble there and ivy. It's in a very. It's because it's not had any attention done. Like what they've done along the car park is a bit of a show wall, and that looks good. But I fear that if you start clearing that, it's just going to be left like the Badger area, and where we lost all those trees on the corner of the old school. It's a complete mess full of litter and weeds. But anyway, I mustn't go on. But that's. I don't think the hedge should go myself. Thank you, sir. You're, you're seconding, but I, I second we, we preserve the hedge right. to act, act, take action on the um, tree that disagree with the cut back of the hedge, mm. other than maintaining it as is good in the proper form. So I would recommend that. But I don't know how, how we feed that back into our observation to make. Well, we'll need to vote first. Yeah. So we have to make a proposal with the comment included in it and then we vote on it so we would accept the tree but then we, we okay. object to the, we object to the um, hedge being removed and that it should be maintained and then if the, in South the hedge is it's not planted it's South Okay, we've got a proposal in the same direction. Those in favour? Those against? Yes, we've got the chairman has the balance. Maybe there's a compromise here that um, we say we regret the loss of the hedge. Mm. If they were going to do the wall like the piece they've done, I think then we'd have to put up with the wall. You know. But the wall is nothing like the drawings I've seen anyway. It was more flat pieces of stone. Yeah, we've had a vote on this. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to put my cast in the vote, but um, the hedge goes. But we made the comment that. Um, Disappointed with the loss. Yes. <clears throat> or it should have been sorted with all my ones. Okay. Eight. Eight. Mr. Ryan to erect timber gate in front of property. Open South East. Both here, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, do you have any uh, no, other than support it with it. Would be in fit in keeping with the area. And uh, I think the 70s brickwork is, is, yes. it, it is in, <laughs> enhancing the area in any way uh, to its neighbours. That, that's uh, that's the proposed one. Yeah. So the, the existing one comes clear on the photos. Yeah, there's one photo with a line. Yeah, so I'll push those out if that helps you see. But I, I have a different opinion. I object to the fences going up along there because they're all trees with PTAs and, and it's 
an area which is nice because of all those trees and greenery and the completely blank fence is not nice where they put them. Well, you can because you, you can't plan considerations. You don't take into consideration precedents. That's what they, they, they just because someone else has done it doesn't mean that someone else can do it. But anyway, I'm oh, sure yeah. it will be approved by that. <laughs> Thanks all for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.